All right, folks, we are on our first day of vacation. Unfortunately, this day we don't have a lot of time. It's already exactly four in the afternoon as we speak. And I'm at my childhood river, my favorite one, my secret spot. So I'm not gonna get the name of it. I'll tell you it's in Missouri. And uh, so we decided we can come here for, we got about three good hours. It's dark about seven now. Uh, <laughs> if you look back to episode 100, this is the spot where we caught 15 species in one day. So it's a very, very diverse waterway, I should say. Very biological diversity going on here. Uh, I'm going to be fishing for white bass and walleye, smallmouth, crappie and carp, largemouth, catfish pretty much anything that swims, but I really want to get me a, a walleye sauger and white bass. It's the two main ones, I'm, three main ones I'm going to go after. Uh, there's crappie in here, grass carp, drum gar, channel, bluegill. I don't know any other spot that has as much variety as this place. Caught a hybrid striper out of here. Caught mean mouth. So it's, it's a it's grown up a lot. Nobody's been his, none of his grandkids have been coming down here. See all the weeds fell over. So. Yeah. Uh, we're also going to come back here tomorrow. I'm only going to hit this spot really today and tomorrow. Unless we do really, really good tomorrow, then I will come back Monday and I guess sacrifice the Mississippi River. Because I was going to do that originally Monday. Then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're going to be in southeast, southern Illinois hitting the strip mines. For crappie, hybrid stripers, and walleye and largemouth, uh, different lake each time. Uh, Tuesday, my brother's gonna be with me, just me and him. And then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday will be me and her, and possibly my friend John and his father. Crystal clear, isn't it? Hey, it got deeper though, a little bit. It, see, look at this. It changes a little bit each year. It's, it's kind of deepened out a little bit. Landed something down here. I can't tell what it is. Too far away, like, but I'm running up. Uh, drum. Huh? Oh, that's a sucker fish. Yeah, that's a sucker fish. That's a red horse. That's your very first red horse ever. As I was just mentioning, folks, about the variety here, you never know what you're going to have. That's where you're going to catch the one here. Oh, nice little red horse. Not sure what kind it is. Golden red horse, maybe. River red horse. I'm not real familiar with the different types. But I know that's where it is. It's neat. Something different, anyway. We'll catch more up there because it's deep in here. It's too shallow right here. They can see you. Almost impossible to fish it because of the way the branch goes out. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, he got off. That was a smallmouth too. Yep, it's a little smallmouth about 10 inches. I was about to doubt this. Lure color, but it worked. Even clear water. There he is. Yep. That's like a small mouth as much as it's jumping. 
spotted that. Not bad though. Wow, look at the colors on him. Really pretty, like an Alabama one. That's a nice spot there. Got him on the pink and green. Just a pin. Just about a pound. Eleven inches, maybe. Almost there. He's got those black spots on him. Hair's right. They're hiding on the end of that tree. There's probably one more. Like I said, there's probably one more. <laughs> yeah, what is this? White bass. All right. I'm going to make sure because there's hybrids in here. It's a white bass, yeah. Small guy, but hey, it's a white bass. All right, we're getting a variety now. Red horse, spotted bass, and now a little white bass. All right. Now you guys know why I come here. You never know what you got on the other end of that line. You never know. Oh, I just had a nice one. Oh, there we go. That's something. White bass again. Right. Huh? Still in here, you just gotta work harder for him. A lot more walking and working a lot harder for him. He's got those white things and black dots too. The water's so stagnant due to the drought that a lot of these fish have the black dots on them, the little parasite. I forgot what they're called. Yeah, that's white bass number two. Oh, I caught one right in front of me. Right in front of my legs. I was just getting unhung, and as soon as I got it off, I cast it just for the hell of it. Spotted bass. <laughs> yeah, it's just number four for me. A little spot. He's a little late, isn't he? It's got. It just got real cloudy, overcast. It looks like it could rain any minute. It's actually just a 20% chance, but I think that's why these fish are biting so well. Got to be part of it. As soon as it hit the water. I didn't even start reeling in yet. White bath. White bass number three. Hey, hey. They are really biting good. It's because of those clouds, I'm telling you. The, I guarantee you the barometric pressure just dropped real fast, and that's why they're biting so good.
Oh yeah, another one. Yeah. I'm on the white bass in that game, folks. I'm ready to cast for three times in the latest one. Very deep holes. These deep holes are few and far and few between anymore. That's actually a hybrid. Yep. Was. He's got the, uh. Got the broken lines right here. It was more elongated. That is a hybrid striper, just a small one. Go get one more, maybe, right before dark. There he was. That was definitely a soldier too. No doubt in my mind. By the light peck.
There he was. Okay, now I know exactly where he's sitting here, folks. I can just put it right back in front of his face. I may have a chance at it. It must not be very big. They just barely lash out at it. They will not chase it down. If it ain't in front of their face, you ain't getting it. They'll lash out about one foot from where they're sitting. And that's it. There he is, got him. Another sauger. Oh man, that was a real walleye. Seen the white tail. Goodness gracious, man. Didn't set the hook hard enough. There I did. Yep, that walleye, yep. All right. He gave me a second chance. That's rare, folks. All right. Yeah. Nice little eater walleye. He's about 15. 15 inches. Last one was a sauger. This one's a true walleye by the white tip on the tail. All right. A sauger and a walleye back to back. And what it is, it's, it's about to get dark. That's what it's all about, folks. Them low light hours. Yes, sir. The reason they're sitting right in front of me is because this water goes around this tree. Now I just had him biting it without me even reeling it in. He picked it right up off the bottom. There he is. Got him. All right. A little bigger one here, guys. Yes. Not a bad walleye here. All right, that's two saugers and a walleye within five minutes. Uh, he's about the same. He's 15. Actually, this is, yeah, it's a walleye. White tip. All right, guys. Walleye number two. I've never caught three like this in one little from one little spot right in front of me. It's having the right lure and being here at the right time. He actually picked it up before I even started reeling it in. So I started reeling it in to let him take it and so I could set the hook. I actually drag it across the bottom. You gotta maintain contact with that bottom or you're not gonna catch them. Saugers and walleye. When it comes to riverine walleye, they're very seldom suspended in the water column. Only a few times out of the year. 